What can I say? I love the sound of my own voice. I know it's narcissistic, but I'm not going to lie to you. I like to listen to, I love when I, I love my voice too much. I know. Sometimes you guys talk to me and halfway through I stop listening to you and I start to imagine how much better that would sound if I just said that to myself. <laughs> But if you figure out what you're good at and you do it, life will be easier if you know what your sweet spot is in life. Like a buddy of mine, somebody broke into his house. He panicked, now he wants to get a gun. He's never touched a gun before in his life. He's not a gun guy. I said, listen, let me help you out. You need a baseball bat to protect your home. And that's not an insult, because a baseball bat is the perfect home defense weapon. Because any idiot in this room can swing a baseball bat, because you don't have to be baseball good to defend your home. You just have to be pinata good, that's all you have to be. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the more spastic and unstable you are, the deadlier you appear to the intruder. <laughs> a gun is a deadly weapon. You could handle a gun and accidentally shoot yourself, but no one has ever been cleaning a baseball bat and accidentally beat themselves to death. <laughs> and if that does happen, that's an acceptable loss. <laughs> How is his time to die? Hey, we all gotta die sometime, believe me. The personal, I think there's too many damn people on this planet right now. That's the problem, we're the apex predator. There's nobody thin in our herd right now. Our numbers are swell. We got billions of people in India and billions of people in China. And we already kill and eat every other living thing on the planet. We're gonna run out of food, my friends, and someday the only thing left to eat is going to be each other. And my point is this. I love Indian and Chinese food. <laughs> You know who's smiling right now? People who are not Indian or Chinese. <laughs> I have nothing against Indian Chinese people, believe me. I love it. I love everybody. I live in LA. We are one of the most ethnically diverse cities in the entire world, and I love it. And I've gotten so comfortable now with ethnic diversity that when I go to other parts of America that are mostly white, my now gut reaction is, oh my God, what have you done with everybody else? <laughs> I mean, in the year 2050, white people will no longer be the majority in America, in LA. That is so 2005. <laughs> but I grew up with diversity. I mean, I actually happen to be half Mexican myself. Okay, good idea. Take your time. Stare at me as long as you need to. I know, nothing screams Latino like James Patrick Conway. <laughs> You convince people you're half Mexican and you look like this and you sound like this and your name is James Patrick Connolly and people will stop me after the show and go, really? You think this is some sort of a joke? Really? You're half Mexican. Well, prove it. Do you know Spanish? As a matter of fact, I do know Spanish. I hear people speak it and I say to myself, that sounds Mexican to me. <laughs> But you know, some people get angry at me the other way. They go, hey man, why do comedians get on stage and joke about being Mexican or joke about being black? Why don't you get on stage and joke about being white? There's a reason why I don't get up here and joke about being white, and I feel very strongly about this, because I think that white people have suffered enough in this country already. <laughs> we used to win golf tournaments in the 100 yard dash. <laughs> There was a time when a little white boy thought he might grow up and be president of the United States someday. <laughs>